Yeah, we're there with you again. May I tell you why you love all the people in London? Trust me, man. Wonderful. Why you the promoter? Why you love my bridging? Darwin, Tafari. Yeah, man. May I tell you if you never let the bridging? I'll well, sit down in the hotel room and just have vex up with the, with the, with the weather. <laughs> why you love Duke BSC? How you do? Yes, I hope you see some of them pictures there. Why you up all the one them who I listen to, you know, I know so them the dead, eh? I know so the thing that go on sweet. We love that. We love that. So there, Jamaica, Easter gone. So that means that the advert not supposed to see us power. <laughs> Speaking of advertisement. Oh, oh, yes, them not so serious. I hope so. But um we say a little thing I brew up in a day in a Syria where according to them it's one of, it's, it's a whole heap of things are going because it look like somebody have picked wire with somebody. Simone, you know. You're good. All right, you look good. <laughs> All right, so we see the 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 British people them are blame. Russia for some poison thing. Um, yeah, we see, we see the British them I blame the Russian them for poison a man and him and him daughter. Yes, and them them decided they will take some action. But now a more serious thing come up now where America also need to take some action where them say. The Syrian them leg us some some poison gas again, and them a deal. Them a them a decide say them a go side up with England and throw some bomb upon the Syrian them. And the Syrian them say, well, not Syrian. The Russian them say, look ya, any oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, no wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a... Uh, them say, anyhow, the American, them fire missile, them are going to fire, them are going to counter it, and not going to counter it, but them are going to send missile in the place where the missile, the American missile originated from. A serious thing that, you know. A serious thing that. They must send missile which part the missile them originate from. Where America said they must drop missile. And meanwhile, the British over there so have a little contention too. So, but Russia now nah back down for nothing. No, Russia now nah back down for nothing. Because Putin just get the go ahead for be the president again, overwhelmingly. So, we will see how that will play out. But the things stay away. Yeah, the things stay away. Because meanwhile, we over here, so you know. Things is not always all. Just because we see it look away, it's not so, it's, it, it, not so it is. Then put something in front of you and make you believe that thing. When we find so there's an underlying thing I go on. It's like how we say our governments talk to people. Them say something amongst themselves and then them come out and say, We can't tell the people them that you know this is what we have to tell the people them. And them said so much time that everybody started to believe it. That going on most of the things them hear, even religion, the preacher says the preacher says the same thing every Sunday. And the congregation start believe it to the point where they all die for where them hear. Without even investigation or, or even think critically thinking about the thing. So things are happen. We have to watch it happen. Because we go that they have plan, plan, this and a plan, plan, that and them no no more planning. Cause them have plan for you go Mars and all them where they go find out if man can live up there. And all them something there. The Chinese them in Africa. And then at Jamaica, yeah, so for some weird reason, the Chinese people say they want to lock themselves in a Jamaica more than all the other Caribbean islands. America, 
seem to be losing foothold, even in South Africa. The, 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 the sparring partner, or the economical partner, or the trading partner in South Africa now is more lean to China. America is no longer the main economical power in a South Africa. China take all of that. And we see China spread its ring white cross. Meanwhile, the American them have a foothold in a Ghana. We must remember say, the first place Obama did go in Africa was Ghana, you know. You know, see it? And them set up them derricks. Till right now, they must set up military base. Because when Obama militarized Africa with the American army, and they must set up military base in Ghana. And people can't say nothing because I can't tell the president them they don't have some arrangement even before him did come. It's like we with the IMF thing. We will up on the IMF because we didn't make arrangement. The, other government, the previous government before this government did make arrangement with the IMF. So they can't come out right until a certain time and a certain thing happen. We're the same way now. We see the military, the militarization of Ghana especially. We are the, 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 the military. You talk about diplomatic immunity. Well, that is where the American military have in Ghana diplomatic immunity. That means they can't go shoot a man on the road. And it's like what we are here about this killing. Remember the, the, the soldier them will go up. Uh, the man house and things that do the in the house and fire shot in there and kill the man. Thirty yard shot, fire at the man house, kill him. Well, we are here to say Bunting did give the go ahead for what you call immunity. Can you imagine that? That means that the police them can at least the, 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 the must say them have immunity so them can't get arrested for the murder of the man. Them go up in the man house. You hear about it? You know about it? Yeah, man. The man when it get dead, I think I am hide something so. During Dudus, when I look for Dudus, I'm feel say, I do this in the house, and the man, them fire 30 and shot, kill the man. And now we are here, say, them call for immunity from these things. It's a terrible thing. Cutting edge. Even a gangster fall in love. Gossip clap music. Depan with case, yeah. Yeah, this is the cutting edge on RFM. We... Give thanks every day forward. You know, so Winnie Mandela, them have the, the ceremony today. I'm so upset. Them have the ceremony for Winnie Mandela today. I should be there. What am I doing here? Concrete asphalt. <laughs> I tell you, it hurt me. <laughs> if you ever know why I try to reach over there. People don't come back here, so. But I hear that the funeral is Saturday. Yeah, I hear that the funeral is Saturday, may I tell you. Painful, man. Painful. And then I hear some little people are run out the mouth, I know, but you see the weirdest thing about it? That them keep a talk about, you know, the British, especially, keep a talk about the things them where them claim say it's terrible. And in the other mouth, the mafia show you say, and even that, even though that, the people them turn out, including including the youth parents who them say she murdered was in the stadium today. Stumpy. That's their name, Stumpy. Stumpy parents was in the station. So all you hear them attack. She is the mother of the South African Revolution. Them can't take that from her. Can't take that from her. You understand? She is respected. She is respected by all revolutionaries, all of them. So, no matter what them say, we can't allow them to tell we who must sanctify and see it. We can't allow them to do that. And it's that them want to do. Them want to make we, them want to make, them want to decide who we praise and who we know for praise. We're not go away with that. The people them are wake up to this reality. This is the cutting edge. And RFM. Virgin still I make music. <laughs> Believe it or not, him still I make music. It's just that the kind of music where I play make is not sometimes a whole heap of one, this track especially. Now I go and play it because it does sound different. 
And me love the difference. Me love the difference. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, right, sir. Yes, we there with you. African people on the door. Things are get away, but things are get a nice way too. Yeah, we see some serious move I'm making in Africa, man. I mean, when I hear about them over here, so still, but we see some serious move up, I go on. But then now there's an epidemic. But then now there's an epidemic in America, in England, there. Eh? Where we hardly say any big headline in Jamaica, but it really a created a devastation amongst, especially in Hackney. For those of you who know England, you know, so since me up there, one weekend, a seven stabbing me here, go on. Seven stabbing. For those of you who don't know where I go on in England, we are used gun down and shoot one another, they might use knife. The youth, they might get beard and rap and with knife killing, knife stabbing. I don't know, it's what kind of, I don't know how that come up. I don't know oh, 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 who think of that. Say, all right, we'll stop up one another. Stop, stop, stop. Don't stop people. I mean, two years ago, last year, I think, there was that thing where you just turn up a car and a man just pass and stab you. But now the youth, they might get vicious with it. In England, uh, it is the concern of most ones who I spoke to in England. That them, them don't understand what is happening. And the man said, no, the government needs to do something about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, stabbing. I mean, you stay far from man and shoot him, but if you really actually go near a man, if you stab a man, you have to go near to him, you know, that's a vicious thing that. And this is amongst mostly black youth. Mostly black youth. I wonder if we are going very, very serious concern. I know there's nobody, all the people them we are talking about, we are called from America and I call from England about the things that we are going in Jamaica. I know, you know, I call and tell people, you know, Jamaica say, well, the amount of youth them we are stopping up on the road, so it's an epidemic, it's a crisis. But it is a crisis. I mean, them can't shout loud, but. Why the youth, them don't get killed off one another, them now come back and jump me and all them something there. By the way, <laughs> by the way, by the way, I made an appeal to the people. When I was in Canada last month, I made an appeal to all the Jamaicans who know that they have land down here. And them not coming back. But them grandparents have land long here. Yeah? And them no have no intention of coming here, yeah? coming back, come occupy the land. I did make a, an appeal on stage that whosoever in the audience want to get you that the land, them can just sign me up as executor for that piece of land. And I will know what to do with it. I never hear nobody come to me and say, Muta, I not come back at Jamaica, you know, but a whole heap of them knows that they not come back here still, you know. They not come back at Jamaica and them have land long here. Well, I did make the same appeal in England. I told the audience that if you know, so they're not coming back to Jamaica. Because we know that one third of the Jamaican population is on land where them call them, call them squatter. And we see the Chinese and the, Ger the, 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 the Spaniards, them, and the Mexican them taking over the coast. And all the good land them that is facing the sea is moving. So the only land that we have now is in the hills and in the mountains, just like first time when we was slaves running away from white people. But there's some good land in Jamaica that some old people, grandparents did own. Like myself, yeah. Oh, I hear of Love Street. <laughs> I feel of Love Street. I know I feel of Love Street. Some people occupy my little legacy around Love Street there, but trust me, on a CF. On a CF. Trust me, on a CF, man. The only way on a CF is Chinese build road, cross the road, go through to trench down there. 
I may have got called a car for that. Anyway, I did make an appeal on stage that anyone in the audience who live in England and knows them not coming back to Jamaica, all they have to do is go to the door and say, we want to motor to control the land. Well, I want to tell you something. One woman come to me. So I have to go keep in contact with her. One woman come to a, a bigger woman too. She said, I'm not coming back to Jamaica and I have land long there. So I have to figure that one out. <laughs> I want to have to promote that to her. Believe you, be. She's serious too, you know. She see, you know, see, I never see her. So much people in a Rasta. But uh, yes, I want to remember that lady. And I know she's going to remember me that she did say she's willing to give up the land. I want papers for it, though, you know. Papers. I need papers for it. I'm not going to go up there. And after me start with certain things, you hear say, this and that and this and that. No, we don't know that, you know. We want paper for land. Anybody who have land now, you have to have paper. Yes. I just saw it go. So, yes. And we are going to make the appeal again. If you don't know, they're not coming back to Jamaica. What if Jamaica don't have so need some land? And you know, not have five acre, two acre, one square of land. And you don't know, so you don't know, come back to Jamaica and the land just dead so. And if somebody go live on it, you know, hey, uh, some bad mind thing that go on in Jamaica, you know. Because you know, see a piece of land we did it for years. And nobody now occupy it, you know. And a little man just go up on the piece of land and he might go try a judge. Plant a couple of bananas and dig some yummy and thing and put up a little house and thing. And when them see the man, banana, I like some thief in police, you know. I remember when they are country, you know. The police them wait till the ganja reach at six months and then they come read the, read the, the, the ganja field, you know. Man, they are care for them ganja and, uh, you know, pet them ganja like woman. And the, the, the damn policeman, them watch the ganja, watch the ganja until it reach like ready for reap. You see them come, come reap it. And I thought they were burning it up, you know, some of them mad. One time they locked me up in a central police station. <laughs> the police are not easy, though. Them locked me up in a central police station, say so me tell I tell the policeman bad word. I mean, never tell him no bad word till you know, but in my ear bad word. Because I'm never used to them all day. And when I go in at the cell, me hear them a jingle jangle around. You see me looking at the other cell, it's full of ganja. I don't know which ganja feel the man them just read, you know. Full of ganja, you know. I never see so much ganja yet. And two toes, it empty out, you know. I mean, no without a doubt, say, them not go burn the whole of that. Them policemen there, nah, burn the whole load of ganja with them fine. Especially in them days there. And the same man, them go take back the ganja, go sell back the man who them got rid of them ganja feel. Because them know, say, man and man, they got to do certain little running so they can get enough money that they can feed them picnic and family and build up house and them something there. So when we look on it just on now, all the things set with these look out, squatter this and squatter that and black people, they are call black people squatter. And then you have some land where they call crown land. Where they held them land and get ton for ton crown. Queen Elizabeth owned the land. Right now, Queen Elizabeth is 90 years old. She's not busy about the land of Jamaica. Queen Elizabeth not busy about no land in Jamaica. She done said so she give her independence. So she know what she know what have nothing to do with Jamaica, you right, yes or no, unless certain things start to work in the interests of England. Like maybe them find some gold or some diamond mine or some oil well. Then you see the whole of them run come back. Our, our successors would have run come back when you say. Gold was found in this and oil was found in this, which 
it look it could appear like that I go happen to because them find highly in a Guyana. Yeah, them find highly in a Guyana, so we don't know. What the hell if they ever find highly in a Jamaica to the level of Trinidad? <laughs> Boy, two twos Jamaica change immediately. Jamaica that change if they ever find Isle in a Jamaica, like how Trinidad of Isle. Can you believe what is happening in a Jamaica? No, I imagine it. But it will be a good move, but it will be a terrible move. It's like the latter scamming. It's like the latter scamming. The, 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 the scamming, the, 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 the scamming where I go on a man to go be. In a one way, it's a good move, but it's a next way, it's a terrible move. Because the youth, them so fool, fool. You might able never see come see. They never see come see. Man when I have nothing, get something and for God's sake, never have nothing and then no become like say him have everything. So man get vicious and vile and covetous and envious. When him should have really know what set up himself. For him picking them. Him turn wicked. And go kill people and then people come kill him and him come kill the next person and the next. And it's just a vicious cycle that now government have to go down there now with for them people, them for go kill them. Who go and guard the guard? So, I don't know. It have to work out. It have to work out. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Very, very precious. We have to know where we are though. We can't just keep doing the same thing the same way all the while expect to get a different result. We have to think different. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Between greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide emissions, we've done quite the number on our wondrous planet. And while we've all had a hand in polluting our own world, there are certain countries that play a bigger part than others. To educate, inform, and maybe terrify our readers, we're pointing fingers at the 10 countries with the highest pollution emission. Number 10. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia makes up a measly 1.3% of the world's overall CO2 emissions, but it's a surprising number considering the comparatively smaller population of just under 29 million. As with most countries, the burning of fossil fuels adds a great deal of pollution in the form of CO2, but there's more to Saudi Arabia's environmental pollution than that. The country's production of over 50 million tons of cement in 2013, a drastic jump from 26 million tons in 2005, as well as being one of the world's largest petroleum producers, has played a significant part in Saudi Arabia's role in world pollution emissions. Number 9. Indonesia With a population nearing 250 million people, a heavy intake of electronic waste, and the routine burning of crops for the production of pulp, palm oil, and paper, Indonesia has quite the hand in the world's emission of pollutants. In regards to CO2 pollution alone, Indonesia accounts for 1.4% of total emissions at 510,000 kilotons emitted on an annual average. Things are so bad in Indonesia that it is known for being home of two of the world's most polluted areas, Kalimantan and Chitaram River Basin. The persistence and hazard of the polluted haze from the frequent fires has even forced schools to close and infants to be evacuated from Indonesian cities. Number 8. Canada Everybody loves Canada, right? Well, maybe not Mother Nature, so long as the country continues on its path of environmental destruction. Like Saudi Arabia, Canada's hand in CO2 emissions may seem small at 1.5% of the world's total, but the 550,000 kilotons is an emission per capita of 15.7%, considering the 35 million people it houses. According to Canada's own environmental conscience website, Environment Canada, Major factors in the country's pollution output include an increase in localized industry and seemingly harmless things like road salt and chemicals used in dry cleaning clothing. In regards to prevention, Canada's National Pollutant Release Inventory offers a range of resources to avert further damage to the environment. Number 7. South Korea Producing almost 2% of the world's CO2 emissions, South Korea definitely has environmental issues of its own it needs to square away. A portion of South Korea's overall air pollution does come from China in the form of arsenic-carrying dust, but that's not to say it's innocent. 
coal-firing plants in the country are a major cause to the elevated carbon dioxide levels and creation of the lung-damaging ultra-fine dust. In Seoul specifically, residents are advised to have protective masks on hand should a desert dust blow in and react with nitrogen and sulfur oxides emitted from power plants to form ultra-fine dust. Number 6. Germany It may be hard to refrain from making a Volkswagen joke about now, but truth be told, Germany's pollution problems stem a bit beyond car manufacturing, though it should be said that elevated diesel pollution has been observed, which has played a role in the country's 3% contribution to the world's pollution problem. One city in particular, Stuttgart, experiences spikes in nitrogen dioxide pollution that brings the annual level to over double what's considered an acceptable threshold. As with much of the rest of the world, Germany's CO2 contribution stems from fossil fuel consumption and waste emission, though the country has been seeing slight drops in CO2 levels with a 4.3% drop of the country's total pollutants from 2013 to 2014. Number 5. Japan The air quality in Japan has certainly taken some big hits throughout history, from Hiroshima to Fukushima. But a portion of the country's problem with pollutants comes from its own practices. Though Japan has some of the strictest regulations when it comes to sulfur dioxide and nitrogen emissions, the country houses 70% of the world's waste incinerators. With the incineration of waste, dioxins are emitted into the air, increasing the risks of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. An additional source that attributes to urban pollution includes Japan's use of nuclear energy, though the emission of greenhouse gases are generally smaller than common practices like coal burning. Despite the use of nuclear energy, Japan still accounts for 4% of the world's CO2 emissions. Number 4. Russia 5% of the world's CO2 emissions comes from Russia. And when you get down to the nitty-gritty of how the government once viewed pollution, it's a surprise that level isn't much higher. At one time, Russian government officials believed that concern and regulation over pollutants were not worth considering if it meant a slowdown of economic advancement. By the 1990s, approximately 40% of Russian territory felt the effects of this mindset and was under moderately high environmental stress. Russia still faces inefficient energy usage and emission from fossil fuel use, though the Ministry of Fuels and Energy reports that carbon emission can be cut by 25% through upgraded equipment. Number 3. India Approximately 6% of the world's CO2 emissions comes from India, but it also has one of the lowest emission per capita numbers due to its larger population of over 1.2 billion people. Regardless, the country faces an ecological crisis due to the burning of fossil fuels, more specifically diesel from vehicles and factories. It's a small role in the big picture, but Hindu cremation practices are also a hindrance to the environment as the public burning of a deceased person releases carbon dioxide and mercury. Families also utilize cow manure and other agricultural waste as cooking fuel meaning each household practicing these methods are contributing to the country's overall pollution. Number 2. United States Making up about 15% of the world's total CO2 emissions, the United States produces over an approximate 5 million kilotons of CO2 a year. In 2014, the American Lung Association reported that around half of the United States' 300-plus million population was living in areas of dangerously high air pollution levels. Beyond just CO2 emissions, warmer temperatures are causing an increase in ozone levels in cities like Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and Las Vegas. What's causing the increase in air pollution in the states? Everything from overuse of fossil fuels to oil spills to pesticides have all played a part in crippling the country's environment. Number 1. China China being at number one is probably not a huge surprise, but it's still shocking to know that nearly 30% of the entirety of the world's CO2 emissions, or twice that of the United States, comes from this country. With a population of over 1.3 billion people and cities almost completely covered in a hazardous smog, China is constantly facing an environmental crisis, so much so that it's believed that only 1% of the country's city population is breathing air considered safe by European Union standards. 
a reliance on coal burning for heat, an increase in industrial plant usage, and unfortunate weather patterns that don't allow for the escape of pollution have made parts of the country dangerous to live in. Were you surprised to see a certain country on this list? Do you have an idea for a future Top 10 video? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, top10archive.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your family and friends. Fire FM, thought-provoking. It is everywhere. We need it. We want it. We even find it in places where we wouldn't expect it. When researchers examined the stomach of a beached sperm whale in 2012, they found 30 square meters of tarpaulin, a four and a half meter long hose, a nine meter long plastic rope, and two flower pots. How is this possible? On average, a European uses and disposes of more than 100 kilograms of plastic per year. A large part of plastic waste ends up on huge landfills or in the sea. Today, more than 100 million tons of plastic is drifting around the oceans. Due to particular currents in the Pacific Ocean, a new continent has been born. A mass of plastic waste the size of Europe. In some areas of the oceans, there is up to 60 times as much plastic as there is plankton. Because plastic does not rot, it lasts up to 500 years. Through exposure to sun, wind and water, plastic is broken down into microscopic parts. These plastic particles can absorb high concentrations of agricultural and industrial toxins. Many animals mistake the plastic for plankton and eat their fill. Every year more than 100,000 turtles, marine mammals and seabirds die a slow and painful death because they starve with a full stomach or because their intestines rupture. Other marine creatures in whose cells plastic and toxins have accumulated end up as seafood on our plates. The smallest form of plastic are microplastics. They are added to cosmetics, shower gels and toothpastes. A tube of toothpaste contains up to 10% microplastics. The sewage plants cannot filter microplastics, so they too end up in the sea. In the making of plastic, hazardous chemicals are used in order to enhance elasticity of fire resistance. Bisphenol A, plasticizers or flame retardants are contained in almost every plastic product. Through exposure to heat, the wrong detergents or simply over time, plastic will go brittle, thus releasing these chemicals, which in turn, through the airways, ingestion or through mere touch, find their way into the human body. The consequences are severe. They include increased risk of cancer, asthma, infertility and developmental disorders. The plastic industry tries to cover up any scandals and runs a gigantic lobbying campaign in order to prevent stricter laws or inquiries. Plastic factories are veritable fortresses. The plastic production process are tightly kept secret. This is one of the reasons why no one is exactly sure what substances are added to the plastic. Over the course of the last 10 years, only 11 chemical substances could be analyzed out of a total of 100,000 possible additives. But there is hope yet. Intelligent robot nets, or fishing boats, converted to floating recycling factories, are intended to cleanse the oceans. Bioplastic, made of maize or starch, could replace conventional plastic. However, its production consumes valuable food, so it's no solution for satisfying the global demand for plastic. This is why you must radically change your consumption behavior. Pay attention to the packaging of products. Substitute paper or cloth bags for plastic bags. Don't throw away old plastic, but recycle it and use plastic-free products. Are we going to allow the destruction of the Earth to continue? If we act now, there may still be hope for future generations before the miracle material definitely turns on its creator. God 
continent with Muta Baruka. We are listening to now all our mates. You know here, continent, the end, the end. I think that when we talk about race, we tend to focus on individual acts of prejudice, which is why UKIP often come up because they will overtly say stuff that we find offensive. But unfortunately, the issue of race, if we understand it, is a lot more insidious. And it takes a lot more of a historical view to understand the difference between individual bias and structural racism and privilege. And the idea of Great Britain was intimately tied to the fact that Britain's invaded almost every country on the earth, literally. No, literally, there's a map, you can, you can Google it. And so the idea of our greatness was intimately tied to this idea of empire, which was intimately tied to what Rajad Kipling calls the white man's burden, to go and civilize all these stupid brown folks that have been writing and having civilizations for thousands of years, but let's forget all of that. And so if we fast forward to today, when we talk about structural racism in Britain, do we have the same institutional disparities in rates of imprisonment that they have in America? Yes, absolutely we do. Do we have the same disparities in terms of who's dying in police custody? Yes, indeed we do. In 2011, we were told we loved Libyans so much we wanted to bomb democracy into them. Five, less than five years later, we're leaving people fleeing the same conflict to drown in the sea while giving a woman space in a national newspaper to refer to them as cockroaches. Mm. And when you refer to humans as cockroaches, that is a mandate for murder. Let's be clear about that. The moment human beings become non-human, that is a mandate for murder. And there's a long historical parallel of that. Today, Germany, the country that bombed this country, you know, in our grandparents' lifetimes, so theoretically the grandchildren of Nazis, can get in and out of England easier than the grandchildren of people from the Commonwealth who fought against the Nazis. And where do they come from? When we talk about immigrants, do we mean people from Australia and New Zealand? Didn't Boris Johnson go to Australia and say, hey, we're culturally the same? Was he talking about the Aborigines when he said we, that? We call them expats. Right. Why people them. have such a different way of classifying themselves that white immigrants are expats yeah. and non-white immigrants are immigrants. So when we say immigrants, if we go to a border control, we can go there, Yarlswood, and we go and look at what, who's there. It's not a bunch of white people from New Zealand. Um, so we have structural forms of privilege and bias that are much more insidious and much more difficult to overcome. Um, the reaction to Africans and Asians coming here post-World War II, to rebuild the country after the Queen's German cousins bombed it, the reaction to them was one of general hatred. It's illogical. These people who had formerly been colonized by Britain had fought in both world wars. India gave 2.5 million volunteers, for those who don't know. When we talk about being saved by America in the war, we want to talk about being saved by India and Russia. That would be a bit more accurate. But that's a bit inconvenient. But the reaction to those people and their descendants has been one that, that is about structural bias and privilege. The greatest metaphor for this might be Canary Wharf and Tower Hamlets. Sure. If you look at that predominantly Bengali community that has to look at Canary Wharf every day, how many of those people work in Canary Wharf other than to clean toilets? I, I only got into that through Grime. So the first thing, I'm yeah. listening to Grime records and they're, they're all rapping about E14. Yeah. And I'm going, where's that? And I'm like, Canary Wharf? Yeah, they're What's definitely not rapping about Canary Wharf. <laughs> I, I suppose what I'm saying is not about saying that there is, there's bias and bigotry everywhere in the world. The country my grandparents come from, they it's pretty much generally accepted that they don't like gay people. But what's interesting, race even plays a role in that. In Jamaica, we have disgraceful homophobia. No one ever says it's because of Christian fundamentalism. Because even though it is justified in explicitly Christian fundamentalist terms, because only Muslims do bad stuff because of their religion. Because we know almost all the Muslims in the world are brown. Whereas when a German wings pilot crashes and kills 150 people deliberately, or the man in Norway killed nearly 90 people. I was in Australia when that happened. This is how uniform the agreement is that white people will be portrayed differently. The Australian media referred to Andres Brevik as having terrorist-like tactics. Yeah. I mean, to think about that. Yeah. This guy killed almost 100 people, and he's just almost a terrorist. And he'd written a crazy thing about Muslims. Oh, it's yeah. very clear. I mean, he was a terrorist by, yeah. by any standard. The idea that white is right isn't just a European idea. It's an idea that has had insidious implications, because no matter what, the 700 people that were left to drown off the coast of the Mediterranean, were they white human beings, they wouldn't have been left to drown. And they certainly wouldn't be called cockroaches. Fiery of aim, thought-provoking, always smoking, lyrics like a bazooka, you are listening to Muta Baruka. Most radical African, what them call African-American artists I know about, Nina Simone. Yeah, man, if you, if, you, if you watch the live story of Nina Simone, man, it's unbelievable, woman. I remember, and I was there in an arena. Them stone are off a stage. I will not stone them, use his cup and all these things because she come on 
and I remember the time, so I never forget it. She come on and I sing. But Jamaican people, a two troll Jamaican people know when Nina Simone sing. Young, gifted, and black, and my baby don't care for me. And she was there singing her heart and soul out and playing this piano. And the people them are wait for your young, gifted, and black. The people them are wait for your my baby, and them not hear that. May I tell you, some piece of coverage on that stage there, unbelievable. But this woman, Nina Simone, one of the great artists of all times, and physically, one of the greatest, one of the most radical, revolutionary in music, Nina Simone. This is Onyx, and I want to share a piece that I wrote a few years ago called Immaculate Misconception. Sister J was kind enough to allow me to put this on her page, so here is Immaculate Misconception. From motherland to foreign land, from beaded necklaces to chains, from Africans to Americans, from warriors to slaves, from ritual to religion, from culture to Christ. From my shade to amen, they said Jesus died for our sins. How can we believe their white God died to save our black skin? Knowing they hate us the way that they do, they'd never worship a God they didn't believe hated us too. We choose to worship their God. We worship it more than they do. Yet our ancestors suffered their masters tortured and beat them, made them bow to their knees and surrender to Jesus. But we don't honor our ancestors for the blood that they shed. We sit in church crying with Christians because Jesus suffered and bled. We don't look to our history for truth. We look to their Bible instead. But it's time for truth to be spoken. Something's got to be said. Something's got to be said. It's time we tear down their lie. Something's got to be said. It's time we do more than survive. Something's got to be said for it's time we remember we're not African Americans. Blacks, coloreds, or niggers. We're African people who strayed way too far. We're African people. We deny that we are because flowing like poison, their religion has spread, growing like cancer by our ignorance fed. We've been manipulated, lied to, deceived, and misled to the point that our ancestors' voices are dead. It's time we connect with our ancestors, disconnect their religion. Our ancestors were Africans before they were Christians. Our ancestors were Africans before they were slaves. It's time we start living and thinking the African way. In spite of what we've been taught, it's time to forget what we learned. It's time for truth to be spoken, but for truth to be heard, something's got to be said to cause our thinking to change. Somebody's got to say something. I've got something to say. Before Adam and Eve, before Abel and Cain, long before Noah's Ark, before the floods and the rains, before Abraham, Isaac, Moses, Joseph, and Jacob, before Samson, Delilah, Goliath, and David, before the prodigal son returned to his home, before the children of Israel for 40 years roamed, before resurrection, redemption, rebirth, and religion, before Christians created chaos and division, before a biblical fairy tale was accepted as true, before the testament, oh, before a testament knew there was Osar and Aset, Heteru, Geb, and Sebek, Heru, Seker, Tehudi, Amen, Hera, Kahudi. And Ma'at were the principles guiding our ancestors' lives. Not a religion whose God was hung on a cross left to die. Our ancestors listened to spirit and by spirit were led. Not by a book trimmed in gold, words of Christ written in red. Our ancestors walked in and lived in a spiritual dimension beyond Jesus Christ's understanding or their God's comprehension. By the time a virgin named Mary gave birth to a savior named Jesus, our ancestors had constructed the Sphinx and built the pyramids of Egypt. Their white folks stole us and sold us and told us surrender. They called us unworthy, called us ungodly sinners. They told us our God was a heathen and we practiced the pagan religion. Their God commanded they practice a form of cannibalism. Taking holy communion in remembrance of his death, they drank their God's blood. They ate their God's flesh. They arrested innocent women, put them in prison, charged them with crimes they'd never committed. In the name of their pagan religion, they told lies so convincing when they put these women on trial, no one would defend them. These women healed those who were sick before modern medicine existed through a method of healing which we call holistic. Yet these daughters and wives and mothers of children were unjustly tried and unjustly sentenced. 
And it was the Christians who preached, Thou shalt not bear false witness, who falsely accused them and convicted them as witches. It was the Christians who judged them and sentenced them to die. It was Christians who tied them to stakes and burned them alive. It was Christians who said they were evil and followers of Satan. It was the Christians who murdered those women in Salem. And the same Christian who started the witch, witch hunt crusades wrote the Bible they lived by. His name was King James. Meaning the God of the Christians allowed his words to be written by hands washed in the blood of innocent women. And in this Bible we trust that never acknowledges us. Not from the first word in Genesis to the last word in Revelation does your Bible mention our people, our history, our nation. Not one chapter, one verse, not one scripture, one sentence. So how did, could their God have created Africans in, in his image? Because if their Bible is true, Africans never existed. Their Bible says by his power, Jesus raised up the dead. Their Bible says by his power, 5,000 people were fed. Their Bible says by his power, Jesus turned water to wine. He healed those who were crippled, gave sight to the blind. By his power, he opened deaf ears and the mute may speak. But where does it say by his power, he unshackled our ancestors' feet. What does it say by his power that he set our ancestors free? What does it explain why his power still ain't set us free? We're not free as the people because we're still believing their life. They don't need to shackle our feet. Their religion has shackled our minds. I don't care what you believe. They believe in a God with white skin. And if it's their God that you're serving, it makes no difference to them whether we're saved or we're slaves. It really don't matter because in their minds, we're still serving a white man as our master. So if you believe you're a Christian, if you believe John 3, 16, if you believe their God is your God and his death set you free, then why did your God perform miracles and free the children of Israel never even attempted to free your African people? Why did your God curse the Egyptians and take their riches away and let the Christians get wealthy selling your ancestors as slaves? If their God, who's your God, loved you so much he died, then explain this, this to me. Tell me why your God freed the children of Israel from slavery by killing all the firstborn Egyptians. But when your ancestors were in bondage and saved by the Christians, when Christian hands locked their shackles, when Christian hands held the keys, why didn't your God kill their firstborn? to set your ancestors free. And if hanging Jesus on a cross was to save you and me, who are our ancestors saving as they hung from the trees? If, the, if Jesus saved us by suffering in, in hell for three days and three nights, who are our ancestors saving by suffering each day of their life? If beating Jesus with a, with a whip was to save us from sin, who are our ancestors saving as whips to open their skin? Who are our great grandmothers saving as they were raped and violated? Who are our great grandfathers saving as they were stripped and castrated? Why were our ancestors tortured? Why were our ancestors slaves? They suffered far more than Jesus, but not even themselves could they save. So how can we instead the sin is spit in our ancestors' face by serving a God who ignored them as they screamed for his mercy and grace? How can we instead the sin is called Christians, our sisters, and brothers when they snatched our African babies out of the arms of our African mothers. How can we as their descendants bow down and give praise to the God of a people who stole our language, our name, stole our culture, our heritage, our spirit, our will, then in our face shoved their Bible and told us thou shalt not steal. How can we as their descendants, the God of our ancestors, reject but give our glory and honor and praise and respect to a cross they burned as they slip ropes around our ancestors' necks? How can we as their descendants believe Christianity could save us when the Christians who preached it were the ones who enslaved us. R.E.F.M. Thought provoking. Always our smoking. And honor and praise and respect to cross they burned as they slip ropes around our ancestors' necks. How can we as their descendants believe Christianity could save us when the Christians who preached it were the ones who enslaved us? Respect to cross they burned as they slip ropes around our ancestors' necks. How can we as their descendants believe Christianity could save us when the Christians who preached it were the ones who enslaved us? R.E.F.M. Thought provoking. Always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. I tell you, we are the lion. The lion could only tell the story. This scenario would be totally different. But we say it's time the lion start telling him own story now, you know. He has been hunted for so long. And been... They, they, they put so much things upon the lion as a savage beast. Yet still they were the ones who came into his space. And kill him. And went back to Europe and put them on it put him head on the wall as a trophy. Still going on now. 
the lion are endangered species species i have some culprit africans zimbabwe and all these places who's helping them to kill these endangered species the lion is an endangered species right now the time is 12 o'clock in Jamaica. Come to Jamaican Roots and Culture. I'm Pat Clark. It is with fond memories that Jamaican adults look back at the games that they played when they were children. There are some childhood games that even now adults would play at the drop of a hat. Bullying a pen is one such game. The game is a bit aggressive. It involves a group of children forming a strong and tight ring around a child in the middle who is playing the part of a bull, trying to break out of the pen. The children on the outside who form the ring represent the pen that the bull is locked in and trying to break out of. The children who form the ring are taunting the child in the middle and chanting, Bully na pen, can come out. Bully na pen, can come out. Bully na pen, can come out. The child who forms the weakest part of the link which allows the bull to get out has to take the center to become the next bull that is locked in the pen. Another popular game was Stackali. In this game, the children are allocated numbers and Stackali is trying to determine who stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Zim, 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 I'm Stackali. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Then the children who are numbered try to deflect blame indicating that another number other than their own stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Then is who? Number three stole the cookie from the cookie jar. You mean me? Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Then is who? Number five stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And the game goes on and on with the participants going to all length to convince Stuckley that they are innocent. As we remember the childhood games of yesteryears, another popular game that was enjoyed mainly by girls in the good old days was jacks. There are some girls who had the opportunity to play the game with fancy jacks sets with brightly colored jacks and multicolored handballs. Others had to use little jacks balls with stones or any other implements that they could find. The idea was trying to see how many jacks you could pick up while doing fancy hand tricks like flipping the jacks from the palm of your hand to the back of your hand while at the same time bouncing and picking up the handball. It was a game that called for concentration and skill. And now to end Jamaican roots and culture, here's our famous quotation from the black diaspora. The friend of a fool is a fool. The friend of a wise person is another wise person. A proverb from the Hosea tribe of Africa. For Jamaican roots and culture, I'm Pat Clark. Bill a pen can't come out. <laughs> yeah, remember that one clear. Serious thing. Asham, Asham, I'll fall down. I tell you, ring a ring a rosy. Them game there, from them time there. Okay. Uh, the slave miller grind slow and it grinding still. This is the cutting edge on RFM. We there with you. I can see where I go on over here. So, oh. What's that? <laughs> you got like the person up on the foot. The person up on the, the person up on my phone. You supposed to sleep, you know. You're not supposed to She said I tune and wake her up. <laughs> you can't call for my cell phone for go find the radio. You don't know, understand that. She said, the tune wake her up, and I must play it again. <laughs> what a song. May I tell you, man? Yeah. Who is it? Hello? Yes? Muta? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you call me program and ask who it is. Oh, you call me program and ask who it is. Oh, me, me, you wait so long, me, me, me wait about 10 minutes. No, sir, I'm just a click. Anyway, what I go on? How old is? Not much. I'm just a step man. Uh, you know how much years me spend thinking a good night out is like boogie woogie till 4 o'clock in the morning, I think. And now me a sick too. And me just take four cushions from my bed and listen to cutting edge. Eh? And you're 60, how much? 
Sixty two now, motor man. You should have known that. You have fifty two. I have two pillars. Six, 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 two. Six, two. Oh, six, two. Yeah. And where's about the pillar them? Where, where you put the pillar them? On my head. Okay. <laughs> where you put the pillar? Then where the pillar figure? Then where the best place at? Them, them people are usually put pillar under them head. No, man. When you get old, you put it under your foot, too. Oh, yes? Yeah, yeah. At 62, you put it under... Okay, okay. You have, you have bad circulation. You, know, you come home. Yes, yeah, me there. <laughs> All right. Nice show on um, about winning Mandela, man. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, that was a good Yeah, it, it, it's nice to hear them stand up in this instead them, you know. Oh, you mean, of course. Uh, you know. She Nobody was, she was revolution in a South Africa, you know? man. So where you call from? Hanover as usual, man. Me there Hanover. Okay, okay. All right. Well, so how you put it, the thing, the, the, the underneath your head? The, how you hear the radio? Where the radio there? Me not lie down for my ears, Muta. Me oh, lie down no, for my head back. <laughs> me, me don't know. Maybe you have things in your ears. I listen, me don't know. Like, <laughs> I would have people put things in their ears now for your radio, you know. Them nobody make nobody else No, no, else me, me, not, me not best yet. Me not best yet. Okay, 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 okay. So where your husband there? Say that again? Where your where, where your, where your husband there? Boy, I three of them may have me divorce with three of them. They were no good man, right? Boy, me, me, no. Can't no, bother. Maybe me, me can't work with that, you know? Okay. No, maybe I no, should no, have three of them separate. Maybe you should have the three of them one time. No, Mickey, no, that wouldn't work either. That not going to work either. That not going to work either. <laughs> Only two hands me have. Uh, what? Yeah, two hands? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and come up with that. I don't understand that. Oh, and come up with that. Because they would get jealous if you can't hug up the three of them one time. Oh, you can't do that, man. You can't hug up the three of them one time, man. Trust me. <laughs> you know, uh, pillar, man. Motor, you know, um, you really make my week, you know. Yes. Yeah, man. I have to stay up and listen to you every, every Wednesday night. Yeah. So you listen yeah. Thursday? Huh? You know, listen Thursday. You work Thursday. Me listen Thursday to man. Me listen okay, Thursday. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, that's what me know when you come on and talk to Roger okay. Thursday. Yeah, when we are in England. Yeah, and you, you know, you bring back some of the points that were made the night before about winning Mandela. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and the kind of struggle we see in South Africa. Yeah, man, yes, yeah. And, you know, it's something that's just very close to my heart because I never like how them treat her. Yeah, we never like it neither. After she in a no. prison, after she in a, a one year solitary confinement, she in a, you know. Yes, yes. You, and it, you, you know, imagine. Certain things people don't understand about women. Like, you know, them took away that woman's sanitary napkin. Look here, I can tell you something, man. If you in a little space one year with not see nobody, nah nah communicate to nobody, you're most mad when you come out, you know. Yes, man. What do you mean, man? Yes, man. And then they send her away to a whole homeland where yeah. she never know nobody. Yeah. And then tell all the people that I mean I did business say they know to talk to her. Yes, yes. And then no they people come to talk to her. No. Yeah, man. Anyway, no, man, people do some serious things, man, and I never like how them treat her. Yeah, After yeah. After Mandela come out of prison, I never like what happened to women. I never like how him treat her neither. No, 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 I yes. never like it. All right, mama, you give know? thanks for you listening so keenly. Yeah. I like yes, how you yes. listen keenly, man. Well, when you lay a hand over in a motor, there's not much left to do when you're 62, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. <laughs> I can tell you something. You left England. Right? Come back, come back. Wait, no, you left England. And me just I come from England. And, and me can't realize, realize you why you didn't have to left England. <laughs> me didn't realize that you must have to left England because you know, you, I, I know your climate that. No, couldn't get, couldn't get the call. But you take so, or you, or you up there so long? Because every every year I come home for winter. Mm. Me always there Hanover every winter. Me know. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, I'm glad for you. I'm going to see you next week. Mr. Yes, Mr. Say the yes, yes, thing up. Yes, I look forward to that motor. All right, Mama, give time. For a long time, me want the poetry to come together with the agriculture. Because you know when I need to plant, I'm not no, no, to plant. No, no, you to plant, I'm not to plant. It's the question of a fool. Yes, yeah, yes. Ma- yeah, man. So that's why I'm glad to be, pa- to be part of this festival, you know? All right, give thanks. Yeah, man. So, so you know, you plant. Tell me something. Where the whole on the whole on it. You plant. Where I am now, I don't have no land. Okay. They don't you capture know, some land. thing I want to say to you, you know? Yeah. Why people know what they're doing when they take away the land, you know? Mm. Because, like, you can imagine that man, you cut off him two foot. Yeah. And he can't stand up, he can't walk, he can't do nothing. Mm. That's what happened to it when they take away land. Yeah, yeah. A land and of power, you know? Land of the power. With no land. Yeah, land is the power, man. It is the power. Yes, yes. Like them cut off with two foot motor when them take away the land. But you want to know, I will leave a crown land near your area and then I just go capture some. A two, a two, a two. <laughs> but you know, when you are 62, you know. <laughs> yeah, not no wrong, not no wrong. You can't manage the hills no more. <laughs> All right, mama. Yeah, man. So me have to just celebrate people like Rastakura and, and, yeah. and chant it from the stage, you know. All right. So. Give thanks to you, yo. Yes, I. One love here, Muta. All the best. Yes, give thanks. I'll see you. See you in a couple of weeks in Port Antonio. Yeah, Harry. Yeah, that is Dr. Jean Breeze. Yeah, for those of you who don't know Breeze, great poet. Clear right and everything where you can think about. Doctor. Yes. Okay. We did the panelist children and we're the children. <laughs> I saw. I make her go over to this one. No, I don't want to. never alone. You never alone. Gene Breeze, come stop it. Hello. Hello. Blessed. Okay. Your mama there. Blessed love, man. How is it? Why I don't have your car, if you remember about six years ago. Mm. Me call you. From Lower St. Anne, are you called from St. Anne? No, man. Okay. A long time me call you and I tell you, um, so me and the biggest gun that smoke in that Jamaica, should I tell you, said the world. You are the biggest ganja smoker in Jamaica? Possibly the whole world. <laughs> you see, Ross? Yes. <laughs> if I could have yes. shown you a picture, I'd show you a picture where I'm bridging. We have a chillum okay. in our mouth that look like... <laughs> look, look like a chimney where, where Santa could have dry water long in our mouth, full of ganja and smoke it. Well, when I say you know, you know, mm. you did cut me off. To me, it's not a good talk, you know. Okay. <laughs> well, when I say, you know, Michelle, should I did tell you the basic thing? Mm-hmm. Say, well, boy, I have a world record. The only man who defied it, the, the mandate of the United Nations. Mm-hmm. Because... Do you, want the, do you want them so when you, you get a mandate or a sentence, you have to do it? Mandatory, yeah, yeah. Well, if them say mandatory, yes. Well, <laughs> you never do well, it. I'm, I man never do, do it, you know. Where, what, where you sent out, get sentenced for? The ganja. Okay. How much? 18 months? Yeah. Okay. How many more do it? How much you do? And I don't know not all. Okay. Well, you never get it then? Yeah, man. The judge say you must serve. I have, have, have the manifesto, yeah, you know. The judge say you must serve 18 months. The judge say you must serve 18 months. Eh? The judge say you must serve 18 months. Yeah, yeah. Now you go to court and everything. Yeah, man, and get the sentence. Well, maybe the, maybe the judge chew you that smoke the herbs, he never see you. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, because you see, after me get it, mm. I know the jailer for treated them, put me a condom cell, you know. Yeah. Anyway, my, my, my brother, my, my and him, born the same week. I'm I, 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 I
Yeah, man. You sound like 85. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like well, 85. Let me say, I don't know. Mm. May I I'm listen, man? Eh? May I listen? You see, when I have a big man, after me get bail, mm. every one of them knows so well then I'm supposed to get it, you know. Because you see, the big man give me the biggest from a lawyer. Mm. Um, my ass flesh of God. Okay. Aye. So when me, when me get, when him send me up at the, the office at Duke Street, the man there, the, the, the big liar, there, the door we are wait for me, you know. Mm. So, when he asks me who I go on, I tell him. So him say, it don't make sense again. Because, he's a man there to resent and some of must have to do it. Yeah. So I tell the man, say, boy, I'm going to tell you a thing what to do, you know. The man say, what? You going to instruct me, man? The man, the, 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 the king of Japan, Sunday of Vietnam, right now, I rub him sentence, he address a little spliff, you know. The king of Japan, son? Yeah. Okay. The king of Japan, in calling you, remember, remember. Yeah. That's the lie, I tell you. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, when we go back to the lawyer, we, um, to the case, the same as give me a barrister. That time, I, I was 1972, you know, mm-hmm. somewhere there. Anyway, when, him, when we go to the lawyer, that time, the law just changed. Mm-hmm. The, the man... Charge with two hundred and ten dollars and no motor. Oh yeah. Yes, sir, that me I said right. He the money I book me for hell, you know. <laughs> so, so me just write down from piece of paper because me didn't fit me to my one bar with half of the money. Mm. You know, me 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 did bring you. It 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 hundred or the hundred and ten. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, ma, me listen one. Anyway. When me show him, say, when me show him the paper, when me write down what he want, what me want him to do. Because I realize, say, the, the mandate or a sentence, he always said, can say I must have to do it. Mm. And after the man charged me the 210, tell him, I said, me, I said, boy, he don't want to book me for hell, you know. So I write down what I want him to do. And if he didn't meet him, I want to borrow him. East Road and Camtas Road, Ghana. But where you want, where you write down, say, must do? For check. Check a liar. And that liar for check Michael Mandley. And Mandley for check Governor General. And. Governor General check the Queen. Eh, eh. Anyway. After me give the Mandley. We give him, um, we tell him what we give him the paper when we write on when we do. A man had a cure whiskey. They're not drinking, they're not liquor, man, you know, you're a rub man. Mm. And boy, I'm here to tell you, say, when we drink the liquor, the man, the man spent about a half hour to write it. I read you when we write on when we do. Mm. And he looked at me and say. He said, Chong, don't give me no more money, you know, because this thing I look like it can't work. Mm. <laughs> anyway, one evening after me, then I drive trailer for him. Well, for my brother, and, um, a Chinese man, I told him, he Vic, Vic, Sevy Alley. So one Friday evening, when I drive up, that we night. I think I'm 75 now, you know, 1975. Then I mean, me, me, me drive through all along, you know, and I rub the sentence, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So when we drive up and go see my ex-wife, 
out of my, 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 my garage gate, the, the man we work with. A time for him garage there, at Walton Park, and um, um, I don't forget where he the name now. He rode with um, Ninja, up on the Ninja man. Anyway, when me asked him, that I now have, have a police and he laggy of me under surveillance, you know. You hear me? Yeah, 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 man, but come like this story will take long, man. Eh? No. <laughs> anyway, when me asked the woman, when, when me see the woman in my garage, I said, what you do here? She said, them are come to you. So when we just jump out of the trail at the same time, you know, I say, when me and she I walk off to go home, that time we not, you know, live too far from there, you know. The man, me ask him who, who she knows that they might come to me. If I lag, he come tell him that I policeman, he lag. She said, no, I want a letter. I said, letter? She said, yeah. That time the idiot woman even looked at me and said, say, man, pinky had pan in the envelope, you know. Mm. And said, we meet him at the corner. You see, me have a the manifesto when me have a right now, you know. Mm. So when me meet the man out of the corner, the evening, the man hugged me up and he said, boy, this is a world record of the highest order. Because it's the first man ever do a thing like this. So where did it yeah. go? I just write, you write this song to Michael Manley? No, man, me write it. Thank you, the liar. For me, the liar, man, he in dead now. Yeah, yeah forgive Michael now. Manley. Eh? Forgive Michael Manley. Yeah, no, forgive, um, he was the ex-minister um, no. of Lieber, I think he and Lyndon Newland. You get the liar, you get the liar, you get Newland, you get Michael Manley, you get the Governor yeah. General. Yeah. Okay. So that's a great thing you say you do this, so. Huh? That is the thing where you say them say it's a great thing you do. Me, 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 me not hear so good, you know. No, me, yeah, me say that, that is the thing where you say them say you do a great thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say, boy, he's the first man ever. I can't accomplish such a feat. Yeah, you hear me? So who get you off of the, 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 the ganja deal now? Who get you off? We never get off of it. Then you know, say you never get spend the 18 months? Hey, me, you, well, no. <laughs> a big man, you know. The same big man will send me a the arm. They send me to to feed him liar. Mm. I ask for a garden. Oh. So me tell him same thing. Contact our minister of labor. Yeah, 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 yeah. New land. And fix fi, to fi, fi contact the big man. And the and uh, and, and the big man we we send them to Michael Mandley. Mm. And Michael we at I'm a glass pool at the... Governor General. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. When we have, we have the manifesto, the other day when they opened the arm, the Ganja Pharmacy down at Jack Sale. Mm. I think he's a journalist from your firm. So right? you did it? You did it? No. So why you never go? Yeah. You're yeah, old man, man. <laughs> oh, you mean? You're the two years old? You're the two five, you say? Yeah, you're the six now, man. Oh, you can't move? No, yeah, we can't just barely move, you know? Okay. Because we broke up all boat, you know? So what happened to your children then? Where are your children then? We don't have no children. Oh, so who they wrong you? Who they wrong you? Uh, I catch me, catch me, my sister. I'm on the play now, you know? Okay, okay. But uh, me have the manifesto here, you know, where Governor General taking water and have a free eye, you know. Okay. So I may call you if I tell you now, say. Yeah, me hear you, man. Say, me, 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 the... You're the first the, man. You're the first man in history. But get a mandatory sentence, I know you, I know do it. And do one, do a day out of it. 
All right, sir. Give thanks. All right, yeah? Yeah, man. Call yeah. again, man. And you, if you want the proof right, you know. No, I mean, I don't disbelieve you. <laughs> yeah, enough proof, man. I don't disbelieve you. The damn man, the real right now. Yeah, but I can't drive come down there right now. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know Yes. All right. So I say, if you don't know when I hear them, when I'm up, I can't drop. Hello? Hey. Yeah, when I say, you don't know when I hear them, I'm up, I can't drop. The journalist is not a drug seller. I say, um. When the man get when the man get um mandatory sentence, you must have to do it. Yeah. And I don't do a deal with it. All right, so you said that already. All right, we have to move now. <laughs> Phone busy here. Yeah? So if you want me name and thing, if, if you I want get... any proof or such. No, but me tell you, say me believe what you say. Me don't need no more proof. Me believe what you say. Hey. Me believe what you say, man. All right. All right, sir. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Yes. No respect here, sir. Yeah, man. Bless it. Go and listen, man. You listen, you listen late, man. <laughs> you, you set up so late and listen to me, man. And you're well, listen, listen to you all the while, you know. Eh. Hey. I see, my little lady, she's 90, and she still don't listen to me. She called me at 2 o'clock. <laughs> well, I'm gone. All right. All right. 80, 86, him say. Him say 86 year old. Yes, ill. Good morning, my brother. Bye. Good morning, mama. How are you? I am okay. I'll you sit up them over there. I'll wait. I'll, I'll listen to me too. I am in there. Me don't understand that. You tell you, say. You yeah, yeah, don't have nothing for your yard. I tell you, if me even a call, uh, send us something me, I do talk to you. <laughs> yeah, you have to me that you over there. I'm in a talk. And that, may I say, me think say, you get so busy, me, Panther. No, me think say, you really mash up. Really mash up with spa. Okay. Listen to your man. I listen to your Thursday when you call. You call in. Mm. Fit in your shoes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've had a shoes that I've had to fit in my shoes. See him still. Everything good. Welcome forward. Yeah, yeah man. Give thanks, job. man. Give thanks. Give thanks. Mm-hmm. So everyone I read over there, so? Yeah, man. Yeah, all right. Uh, I tell you, say, we just had touched the studio car for a long time, you know. Talk? Yeah. All right. But we know you're listening still, though. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, listen from your start. Eh? Yeah, listen from your start. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. You take care. All right. Give thanks. No love. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yes, man. There, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I had a good shot for him, you know. Who is this man? That's black and suit. Try to no, we are no boot. Um, conscious Rasta, man. Why is that on Salaman? Who has Methuselah? How would that? No, Muta. Baruka. Me not no brother. I don't know, brother. I'm a brother, you talk about. <laughs> oh, come. Eh? I don't know, brother, you know. I don't know, brother. I have two sisters. No, but the poem that sounds like you talk about the next brother. <laughs> well, um, hey. Earlier on, I asked the boy if that's good if they find I. Mm. I don't know about that, you know, sir. No, no, I never said that. I said it can't go down, it can't be bad. I never said it. It's a good thing, you know, because I see what happened. In England, you don't want to come back and come back to the land. He's not really a pessimist, but why? You know, because he said, I do that, do make a politician, they're more greedy. They're more than greedy, I want to put and get deeper pockets to come. Well, maybe Queen is better to come back for your land, man. Uh, I start claiming, say, I'm a family land originalist and a family land still. Because he did sign it. Thank you, me. Mm hmm. That too. Yeah. And so where them find the aisle? Them find me. Them find a little speck of a bubble up somewhere. Oh, I, 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 me prefer them find the natural gas or something. Because mm. you can't imagine all the coastline how it's a mess up, man. 
Ouais, mais attends, là. Aïl prend des fiers, beau toi et plus. Aïl prend le roto. Caras kid like mad. When you talk about me, but then you say, I want to shine the proper person. You can, it don't make sense. I try to save money, I go to bed early. If you save, save for the money, if you buy the candle, mm. if you go end up with twin picnic. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> yeah, problem. You know what I'm saying? What did I say? I'm bridging the car about, down at France, St. Catherine, where they're thinking, you say, well, the gold business there. Eh? Remember him? Them come check my man. Yeah, well, but remember, you know, you come in like everybody the kind of skeptical about it. But you see, them places when them big company there, after them mine and them figure say, you know, economical for spend no money for mine no more. Mm. Them left it, you know, and if you go in there after that, you can always find liquor liquor if you want to pan it. And, but and I see with the diamond mine them in a South Africa there. Well, yeah. Yeah, you have so a whole a, a, a diamond mine where them left now, but. You tell you go in to go find some little specks of diamond, 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 and get rich our fight, said we. Yeah, man. But him no, them, them are we, him have to go look. Maybe I'll put on the internet, them must can tell it to because you can, him can, uh, you can, if you smell it, him, when did that talk about, I smell it, him, I smell it. If it no, well, you want to know, one of my bridging them, I talk to me. The other day when they are England, he like, was a South African, he deal with them diamond and all them something. He might tell me how to find out that it's real gold. Mm. So I don't do it yet because I just come back. But now that I know, now, he tell me what to do to find out if it's gold. It's home, home thing. You can't stay here and know. Yeah, so, well, if we find with the iron pie right now. Like, yeah, so I'm going to go, me go next week. I have to find out if I really go for true because mm. the Virgin did come in high for me and bring some, come give me. Mm. And tell me to check it out, you know, so I have to check it out. Mm. Because in can use, I think I'll borax instead of because the big company, they might use like mercury and them sitting there and mess up the place with it. But I think they have a way for to use borax and do it. Mm. You know, it's cheap and everything. But yeah. you know, because I have to set up him slow, like, like how you know, watch them old cow wash one, you see them have run the water yeah. and make it run yeah, Run it long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah. strain it, it, strain it, it out of the dirt, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, I use the borax and get you, then he, 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 he make a sieve with the, the, the gold and then him, then him go heat it. Yeah, and, me, and find out, me find out, me find out, man, me go find out. Because I don't lick it down, you know, I don't go say I know gold, but because I don't know. Him see a gold and him see a bite. So, if I go all, I don't give back nobody it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I them thing there. As a matter of fact, if I go all, I have my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no worse. If I go all, I have my best friend because I mm-hmm. can't get onion bag full. Oui. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but after I separate, after, after yeah, I separate, after I separate, after I separate, after I separate, Yes. Uh, now nah, I'm going to be the onion bag full enough. No, I'm not going to be the nah, nah, onion bag full, but yeah, I mean, right. a little bit of rock, a gold of rock is better than yeah, no rock at all. How uh, are the price now? No, probably about 1700 Gold not change you know, enough. Watch a so. gold price go up, it not go down. Mm. So, about, about last time me, I remember about sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars uh, ounce. Yeah, US. Yeah. That's a US? US, yeah. See there? Two hundred thousand dollars. Uh, nearly 200,000 Jamaican ounce. Well, watch out, man. If I That's go, I'm going to go cash to go at 10,000 ounce. Yeah, that me a year too. If I go, I move go nice right in the house. <laughs> I go down and go live. Because <laughs> it's a white man come there with them, they take a whole lot of pipe and go. But I say, in my mind, I say, if I go, they're white people in the house, if not so, man. Yeah, man. If, 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 if let me say, when the big company ended there, you know, then they get out a certain amount. Mm-hmm. They amount of money where they have to spend to get out the rest. rest it don't make yeah. sense to them. It don't make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. The little, the little profit don't make sense to them. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Mm. That makes sense. Like that. And I begin now, me, uh, when the program has started, when they are talking about the game, I say, ring, ring, and roses. Yeah. Yeah. You know, say so that a game there, you know, a history lesson to you, know. Yeah, man, let me know. Man, I watch a movie last night, man, named um, Return to the Blue Lagoon. 
Yes. Where the little oh, oh, the white girl and the white wires do it, ring a ring a rose, they all fall down. Mm. All of them have a story behind it, you know, a serious thing. Yeah, man, about the bubonic plague, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Remember that? No, some never know. Yeah, I know you teach me something, your brethren. A bubonic plague, you see, when I get, you know, you, you, you see some little, the, them spots, some spots start coming up on their skin. And yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red spots, yeah. shaped like roses. Yeah. So I then say ring a ring of roses. Yeah. But the pocket full of poses now. People in the dead so much that dead people are about white street and walk up your dead ass smell. Mm. So people walk up and down with um, what they call poses that are flowers mm. in them pocket. Mm. And take you out. Pocket full of poses, take you out and push your nose and walk and smell that so they don't smell yeah. the dead people then. You see? Yeah, a tissue, a tissue where I fall down. Anytime you start sneeze, cause by two, three days time you start sneeze. I, I, well, I me like a pick, yeah, you know what me say? I shall me say, no. cause I shall make you sneeze. <laughs> yeah, when me say, I shall, I shall, I shall, you tell me make you sneeze, eh? I shall me want to eat. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, I'm very interested thing you tell me, the brethren, I don't force me to hear that in life. Sneeze, just sneeze, man. When you start sneeze, and, uh, you know, that I don't know, you sneeze and drop down. You there. fall down. Uh, Tissue, tissue, yeah, I'll fall down. No, boss, you tell me something I don't know, it's unbelievable, man. The whole of them all the story, man. Oh, them just listen. You must went to the Harry to the Humpty Dumpty, all of them that are the story. No, I know about the Humpty Dumpty. And and him, him, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fish. Yeah, I know about, you see, all right, you see, I grew up, you know, I mean, write a poem named Nursery Rhyme Lament, you know. And I say, but them man are couldn't so fool. If I write them things, I so I don't understand. It couldn't so fool. And when I grow up big, I saw him like, when I say big, I talk about big man. I come realize, say, a whole heap of them is like, what them would have called now, allegories. Yes. <laughs> like, like stories with a meaning, but yes. they use figurative language. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like the, 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 all animals are equal, but some are equal, man, others. <laughs> if you study certain things, you don't know what they talk about. Eh? Mm. Well, I the same thing. I the same thing now with them nursery rhyme where we are called nursery rhyme. Yeah, so the man them did I write it and I mask it with certain thinking because they never want the real thing come out, you know. And I grow me come grow now and realize like you just tell me something that we never know. We never know that at all, at all, at all. Yeah, yeah. So then, and that a history behind it. Yeah, man, it's the most the behind it, man. It couldn't so anytime, yeah, anytime, you know, most things you remember about a rhyme and all them stuff now. Yes, I so you learn yes, things quicker. It keeps yeah. you quicker when it rhymes. Jack and Jill went up the hill and all them with it. When I look at a read a comic book on it, I always wonder to myself, oh, come on, anytime I read a comic book, I can tell you everything in a comic go right to me. I'm saying, well, I can't remember from my school work, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you watch one show, you remember it. Yeah, man. You know all them things there. Yeah, man. I remember roughly. Dick Tracy, you remember that type of look at Dick Tracy, you know, when Dick Tracy came, you could watch it look like nothing now. Yeah. Remember that Dick Tracy, you know, what oh, you mean, man? Like that. That look like a superhero watch, you know, a joke watch that. A normal watch that now. Buck Rogers a joke, you know. Yeah, man, when we did that, when we did that, Dick Rogers, Dick, you know, Dick Rogers, Dick Tracy, watch. That come like some high scientific of course. thing. And, and that, that's how we make a picnic, but no, normal thing. You can go in a store, go buy a, a watch where, and where Dick Tracy used to have. Man, more than that. Because even, even, the, even the, 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 the iPhone, you saw. I, 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 and look where it start from. That's all the first computer when they make the Eni up there. Yes, yeah. Take up one whole big old room. Be, yes. And put out <laughs> the, the couple of mathematics addition and yeah, tell you. Now I'm a second. And now you could watch where you have fire and iron, you could see. Same thing. And you could pick the tie. You can do a million times and more. Yeah, more. man. How much, how much terabytes? I, I did the man in the 80s. Mm. When, when, a man, when a man have... 200, when a man have 150, 200 megabytes, you know, a, 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 a memory, you know. And enough, enough you know. And, oh, you mean, man? But no, sure. <laughs> Watch a man, me have, me have a terror, yes, a two terror. Mm. With up over 100,000 songs upon it. Mm. And that a two terror, don't have four terror, you know. No, man, there are five. I'm more. Yeah, I mean, I mean you can imagine, uh, now you put you put information, hey, and you know, it's like it's smaller and smaller, you know. 
the 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 yeah, the, 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 the external hard drive them get smaller and smaller. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can they have thumb drive where we got the where we got the terror? Eh, no, me never see that one. Let me see. The highest never see a jump drive at 125. They may have, yeah. them have one, but I don't know if they take it back off my mark. They may have one where they put up about two, three years ago where it, it thin like, it, it like, like a chewing gum, like a like a Yeah, ring. yeah, a jump drive. Yes. With how much terror? One terror. One terror. But You're serious? Them, them probably they never, they never they don't test it, so I don't know. They never come back with it, man. Get, get a year or two from now. Mm. And that time about two, three years ago. May I tell you? The next can... thing, earlier when you talk about when, when one of the clip of your player, when the man talk about the male fish are turned to female fish. Yeah. You know, I, I, may I tell people at Jamaica, no people may talk to me as a man, but may I tell you, so we just hold, end up with a land fish down here. Yeah. But you, you, you see that round up and then, ne? Yeah, the 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 the, the, killer, the weed killer. Chemical, thing. yes, the chemical. When I, when I see the why reason U.S. are trying to ban it because them start finding the chemical when I in the ear and be a be a ban with in the umbilical. Yeah, born, effeminate. You know, and it make it, it make yeah, we demand them the extra whole part estrogen. Yeah, one like woman. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's true thing, man. Then something. Eh? You tell the people them thing that you know it sound like some weird thing at that. What what? It's reality now. These things is reality. Because yeah. they did show you them things in a movie years ago and you wouldn't believe it. Because mm. you say a fiction, but them was really preparing the ground for making you know that these things is real. You know, look, 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 look how the man, um, the doctor of death in South Africa. Him, <laughs> him, him design, him design virus that can only affect black people. Yeah. And them him, him talk it in the court, the truth and reconciliation. And get where him did that inject um what them call them call it in a in a in a t in a t shirt ANC t shirt for kill people. And tracks. And drugs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and him kill him, him, him use virus that only affect black people. Years ago, yeah. years ago, me asked them to up on radio. Uh, man said, Muta, you're a madman. What are you talking about? DNA is struck. And the man coming at the court and admit to it. I'm glad he can boast and not get lack of Yes, because it's truth and reconciliation. You know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. So, when we are talking about food and how, right now, them contaminate the food in such a way and all that. You know, it, 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 if you're not plant your own food, you have to just live by yourself, well, boy, right now, that's all. <laughs> because mm. the food mm. gone away, brethren. Man, I mean, I see, I see, I see, man, Santo and beer, out for oh, congenial. Oh, gosh, man, may I tell you? Medicine and food, hey. Uh, <laughs> you can't believe that. Your food, your medicine. <laughs> and you know, Amazon buy out old foods. Uh, and them never in the food business. Mark and Spencer, who used to sell upscale clothes, gone in a supermarket business now. So them not sell clothes again. Them call themselves M&S. Mark and Spencer, which was one of the, the American, not American, British Allmark high-end stores. No vegetable and, 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 and this and that, them are sell. You know where money there? May I tell you? Yes, you know, the food business is a, is a serious thing, brethren. Serious thing. And now you see them make computer now where you can't ever see it good. They write in them. So everybody also have to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. And them make cell phone now where you can't inject in your hand. You know that one there? You can't inject in your hand? Yeah, them have the, them have the cell phone under your skin. Oh, you hold on by your skin and it light up. You see the cell phone in your skin. Mm. Man, tell them people. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know man yeah, that I'm, I'm that. Time, A couple of years ago, man, I watched a movie with that where the man where have your pull out him up, pull you out so they stop for him around or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They killed by the damn plant now. De, them have them them hey, watch out. Them have chip will come through needle now, you know. You can't put the chip in your through through the yeah. way in the needle, you know. Mm -hmm. That means you know you don't know you know, but 
I will leave a baby a barn now, go to have chipping at them and we don't know. And them three and the baby from, from birth with the chip in at them. So sometimes you hear about all of them shooting, we are going, you wonder, how oh, are you just get up, so I just go in at school, go shoot up the school, so. What is it that make a youth just walk going to school and start shoot up the school? You never can tell. Maybe it's controlled and manipulated in a, some place in a upstate New York or Seattle where man just sit down, just like how they maneuver the the man who had the drone them drone, in, in a Yemen and in Afghanistan. Them sit down in America and kill children and, and mothers in a Afghanistan, in a Iraq, in a Syria. And them sit down and inside a comfortable they they Casualties of war, collateral damage. So all them, all them, them to you, the way they say war going and, and I shoot people. You know, you say, what is it that make them people as do that? We don't know if it's not control them, control them in a some place where them not watch them and say, all right. Okay, and that's why Jack the Ripper grand picking them and go on to England. Yeah, yeah, tell you, stop some of people. <laughs> man. Anyway, yeah, give man. thanks, Bridget. Right, yes. Why yes, you tell me some tonight that we have to go hold on upon Bridget? Uh, you, know, you, know why it, you know why it's so significant to me? Yeah? I'm gone. Why so significant when I say a while ago about Ring a Ring a Rose? I was watching a movie last night with the same game with the two, the two youth them get stranded on a little island at the Blue Lagoon. And that is where they grew up with as English people, Ring a Ring a Rose. And the brethren come tell me what it means. Beautiful. This is the cutting edge. Cutting edge, yeah. Muta? Yes, ma'am. Muta? Yes. This is your 95 year old. Ah, uh, I was just <laughs> talking about you a while ago. I never recall your name, but you I was talking about. Oh, really? Yes, I was, a man at 86 just called me. Yeah. And I said, I heard what? him. I, I, I oh, you heard him. Yeah, and I was saying, why am I, my call of them, as I certain you should see, I have a favorite call. I call at 2 o'clock and she passed 90, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, when I know you're coming on on Wednesdays, I try to get a two hours sleep before, before. you know. You sleep before? Yeah. Oh. Uh, about I get a two hour nap before 10 o'clock. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm able to stay on. Listen, was that been to Breeze? Yes, yes, yes. She was talking to me from my house in Hanover, yes. The, she's only 60. Six, Tell her to take care 62. of those. 62. She's got a long way to go. 62. <laughs> She's 62. She's 62? Yes. Ah, she's young. That's my granddaughter. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Listen, um, about my winning, I like the way you handle that. Yes. Mm-hmm, because she, she was my doll. Yeah. I have a lovely picture of you and her. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. You're telling me that over the years. I know, and I'm not going to give it to you till you come and get it. I have a lovely picture of me and her, too. The two of us? No, me and me and Winnie. Oh, maybe it's the same one. No, I have many lovely pictures of me and you. Mm. I have many lovely pictures with me and you. Really? Of course. I'm the last lovely picture we took together was up the university. Oh yeah. Um, uh, uh, what the function was again? Um, over the over the new side. Th there's a new side when you come on Mona Road. Oh yes, when that pretty little girl from uh, South Africa. Was selling her pictures that night. I don't you remember. remember? I don't the girl remember. But was uh, doing her pictures. Uh, yeah, it was. A, it was an exhibition. Lady. It was an exhibition. Wasn't she cute? Yes, yes. Ah, oh, doll baby. Yes. But um, listen, darling, you tell these little sixty-year-olds and seventy-year-olds they're, they're my grandchildren. Okay. Okay. And uh, about. Winnie, let's go up to the South African... Uh, she's 80, She's 81. Yeah. She's not your grandchild. Oh, no, no, not her. <laughs> uh, no, I know, I know. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. No, no. I mean the... the yeah, the 70 year old them you're talking about. The 70 year old them. They, they're, they're just babies. Yeah, right? young young girls. Yeah. Of course. Get out of here. Tell her to take care of her feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know Shakespeare says, sands here, sands hearing, and sands... Without, <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's got a far way to go. But listen, let everybody go up to the South African embassy before the book closes, huh? Okay. 
Okay, darling. All right, mama. Take care. Give thanks. Yes, that was me. I think maybe it's my oldest listener, you know. If I'm not mistaken, she's my oldest listener at nearly book a hundred and still and she usually call me this hours. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then the two cars down was a eighty six year old man. I'm doing quite okay. I'm really doing quite okay, man. Okay. Yeah. Bless up. Yeah, bless her. Uh, you don't reach 58, yeah. you know. Nobody go on like, you don't reach 58. Eh? You don't reach 58. 50? I Fif- do okay, I man. I have to just have two days left to 60. 60? Yeah. yeah that, no, you don't reach 68. <laughs> no, me never say me reach. You said <laughs> me have two days. You have baby, you have baby to who just called me a while ago. I know that, I know <laughs> that. But me and the brethren, when me always tell us, me and him sit in, him not too long gone in, Michael. Oh, yeah? Ma, he ma, nine, oh, 93 and 1924 in Bath. Yeah, wow. Mm. Mm, give thanks. Yeah, anyhow, back then when me a youth, all, um, Peter touch at that about who's one layer. People are saying a madman talk. Yeah, yeah. All when Zylan and them and they are set up TV. You understand? Yeah. Me remember, man. No, no everyone who was approved say a fox. Certain things were with that from them time, you know, a real thing. Yeah. If, even the tape where you, you, you play earlier on with um, the, the, the pollution. Yes. We, we better be careful. We, we, we just make a jump and fall second behind China. Get sucked in. Yeah. No, China even, China far, even behind, no, where are you going to China for? Behind America, you know, you don't say America the second one. America, yeah, where they, you know? But we will pass America because if China take you over. That don't mean we will pass America. <laughs> yes, uh, never fight to see who can pollute the atmosphere more. Yeah. Mm. But we, 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 we don't know if we talk, we're conscious enough to deal with them pollution thing they still because if you look and leave low the car them and drive on the road, you know, you know say there's no regulation. If if, if there is, yeah, it is not enforced, you know. For instance, even when you think of the people that we're living are like um what the hill then um we have up um Saint Catherine there. Center. Guys Hill? Mount Rasa. Mount Rasa. Guys Hill. Yeah. In a them era, they know, when people, the people them were living in a them era, they are worried for pollution when all them these lynching, they are go up and a fling them exhaust, you know. Oh, you mean, man? It's a lucky thing. Say them now go around this after and again because they are really there. Them still go around them, man. Yeah, I know them still go around there, but not... They talk, man, them are mainly like all... Um, tank well truck them not take the route there, but most of the rest of truck man how much of them can pay so much money 9,000 brethren me remember yeah, the days okay. when we used to go up there man and, and truck jackknife up there mm. you have to take another route me don't know one, one night me I come along I refer me never late for a program yet and mm. one night one, one truck jackknife up there me don't know which part me drive everybody has to take the route to go around there so <laughs> me go for some hill and go round and some. Well, me I say, wait, I where the rat in this place are they? Me never know them places. They are Jamaica. Yeah, man. Me I tell you, it's not a good thing for for, for you up the stand traffic jam up there and chuck you and go up there, you know, chuck no, stall. If you in a your vehicle and you don't have AC and you can't lock up your vehicle, so you go up there in one of them chuck. It's me I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> you have to say, you have a deep car. Remember one time I work with a... Uh, um, a construction company and we are go, go on a white river there to go do some work and we are go up the hill with the behind a truck or so much smoke emanating in front and when we reach the place to do work we have to beg some people some mint and boil some yeah. mint almost knock out when we belch yeah mint smell, yes it, it, carbon monoxide it, yeah man hey, hey, you, have, you have a, it, a part of the hill there you know where it have a deep curve so the truck, them have to go over upon the right to come round, you know. So yeah, man. some yeah, car you usually know. take it inside and go round. Yeah, man, no, you tell I know. Yeah, we know. In a beep several times, man, and when the man reaches, he says, shut him now. Yeah. We yeah, know. Man. One time, I say, I truck and go round, you know. I'm going to take him, you know. In a wheel, me, 
Wait no, wait no man, I'm still in choke. Yeah, but me, me listen you man, you listen you know. I'm not privileged to have man be going to the little face to lay the road me, you know. So you hear what? You go and listen you. What you say? No yeah, man, I never stop. I never try to tell you a story. I'm not yeah, like you. Yeah, but I tell you, I'm going to listen to the story. The lady around me. Which lady? The little face to lay the man where all your chip in. A lady chip in? Yeah man, I say me have rare. You don't know about her. Oh, your phone run off of water, so you don't know about her. But <laughs> All right. All right, DJ, 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 DJ. All right. Now, we are saying, one time we are going to the deep car and then and the truck go over the other side now. And I go, go come now and I say, all right, I take it through the panel left and I go around. It's a bit time I go to the truck, I say, draw a sudden So I look. I come back, the truck I come back. <laughs> yeah, I take the hill. The truck I come back. You think so me don't take a reverse, so it's a look, you think I would pack your them and behind me. Cause you know so me I lick up, lick them up. The truck just hook in you know, the on the top of the side of the hill there, you know. And I come back, the truck I come back, you know. Anyway, a long time you don't drive up there. Believe you be a long time you don't drive up there. Yes, EL. Hello? Yes. Muda, how are you? Me all right, man. First time call, a long time listener. You see, Ross? I want to talk to you, you know. I wonder why you make your call tonight, you know. <laughs> um, me just up late tonight. I am to be up late and me can't catch a program rather than listen. Eh, hey, you know. worry? <laughs> no, sir. If you no, worry, you'll be sorry about tomorrow, man. <laughs> no, sir. You don't worry. I used to have a birthday. 12 o'clock, uh, my birthday uh, done. Hey. You know. Me, me just live live out the world here, kinda, I guess. All right. We we'll give thanks. So, yeah, yeah, man. Me, me look up to you and think, I'm a rate when you talk like serious things about African history, the mm. food and things. Listen all of that. And yeah, somebody will look up to you, you know? Give thanks. Um, so another thing, you played a Nina Simone song earlier. Four women. Four women. Yeah. I think Jay Z do it over recently with like he do it tastefully still, like him have message and I'd see him with a black people, you know? Okay. So maybe you can check that out by your own Yes, hand. yes, yes. Um, and and Queen, Queen Africa do it over too. Who? Queen Africa. Oh, I'm going to check out for your own. No, we had the whole hand. Oh, you hear the Nina Simone one, I never hear the Queen Africa one. All right, all right. So I'm going to explain that to you. And the Queen Africa one, I'm going to play for you now. Yes, so if on YouTube, um, then normally um, make recommendations based on the type of music where you listen. So I recommended that I listen to that one with Jay Z. Um, so that's how I know about um, Jay Z one over Queen, Queen Africa one, you know? No, wait now, man. May I tell you something? Oh, sorry. You didn't hear the Nina Simone one we play a while ago? Yes. Yeah, but when I said, before I played the Nina Simone one, I did play Queen Africa one. So, oh, you oh, never hear the Queen of Africa one? At that time, sorry. You yeah. got out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything you say. You got out of the bathroom, man. You take too long in the rasta. You threw that three, three minutes. You're not supposed to be in the tire three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. We know you will spend about using the bathroom. All right, sir. Um, so, one more thing. You ever hear this thing that um, pig pig is, is a mix with a cat, a dog, and a rat? You ever hear what that? Like that? Yeah, that would um, people say that, yes. Um, memory yeah, me hear, me hear that. Elijah Mohammed. Eh? One book, one book by Elijah Mohammed. Yeah, me hear that, me hear that. Long so time ago. So, hear it from anywhere else, like if you can, like, tell if it's true or not. So that's no, me don't know, me don't know, Bridget. Me don't oh. know. Me, I've been hearing that for a long time, but I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, you have a poem that you talk about two monkeys having a conversation. What's the name three of Three monkeys. I can't. Well, I didn't hear you. Three monkey, not two, three. Three monkey. What, what's the name of that poem? It named the monkey speak. Oh, the monkey. Oh, the monkey. It's not oh, my yeah. poem, you know. It's not yours. I thought that was yours. No, man. It's a long, <laughs> long, 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 long time song and poem. Oh. Yeah, man. It's a long time thing from the mentor days. Yeah, man. And it yeah. come up back now, but it's just to me bring it up back because... Of the black family, I would say a breakdown of the black family, and that poem fit seriously with really, the three monkeys under yeah. a coconut tree. 
Yeah, man. He, he, like, it spoke about, like, um, monkeys can never be wicked as men or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I try to explain that to my bridging them, but they don't really get well, it. Well, te- go up on YouTube and Google the monkey and, and buy Muta Baruch and you play it for him. Yeah, man, man. I'm going to check it out. Um, there was one other thing. Um, so, one of my friends was sharing with me that, uh, um, like, some races don't bond with, like, emp- em- emphasy. He, 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 he ever, you some races like, no bond. Some race no bond with what? Em, empathy. Like them can't feel other people pain. It's like them just mm-hmm. like numb, kind of. You ever hear anything about that? No, I the first mirror that. I me personally think like they, there are probably some truth to it. Mm. Being that like um, all right, when you look at racism, and you see how easy it is for like one race kill another race and just blame it like like say them scared or something like that. Mm. It's like, you really have to give um, credence to them kind of talk. Because okay. they want them a human to like, if I take somebody like them, them just never going to come back, right? Mm. So you, you, you have to like, appreciate on some deep levels. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, well. I have to sit down and think about it seriously, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, Bridget, give thanks. Yeah, man, thanks. And if I can play the music, when we still have time. Yeah, like, yeah. All right. Yeah, still All right. Time. Yeah. Right. This is the cutting edge. You know, so we'll be back here a little more from this with the stepping razor. The art of war. From 2 to 5, 4 to 5. Yes, El. Water. The blessed man. Alright, you me had about movie a while ago. Movie, yes. Yeah, I yeah, say you watch movie. Never know me never for that so if you ever watch a movie twice. Ah, uh, ten times. Alright, you are going now. You play a tape one long time ago. Mm. With a man where I say my walk from England to Africa. Oh Daya. Me no remember where he name name about Daya, I remember name Daya. The part and part of the story about the man but would I listen to that story there again? I like told you, know, but here I know. I can tell you why I don't play it. I only have one part of the tape. And I love if somebody out there have the other part. I can't well want to play it back for two years. Yo, Muta, you play it on tape, bro. I tell you. I will go go interview with the brother of the Ethiopia, you know. We go to Ethiopia with me and Cabo and Rebel and um, Yasus and Youth and Green, it go there. I sit down with him and interview him, and I tell you, say, it was a, you know, say, white people go to go interview him. Most Make time, I'm going to listen to that tape. Yeah, good. I'm going to call you a question. Anybody have a tape? Send it on. So yeah, like send it on. Trust me. Me, me agree with you. Anybody who know, anybody who have the whole other interview, they send it on. Come give me, make a plate back, Virgin. Yeah, agree. and the better I want to go to the boy, but the, the hack and the hack thing, but the thing and the, the, and the, the yeah yeah the rat and thing there's yeah, a little thing about it in the Malcolm X movie no me know man me, me, I, I, the Islam I'm Muslim me here with it I'm yeah, Muslim yeah, that, it, it's not it's it from YouTube but part, part of it you know the from YouTube you know, the Malcolm X movie yeah 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 yeah. but, but a part of the movie and I explained to somebody, yeah. to somebody about how the ad come about you know yeah 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 keep me alright give thanks Bridget uh, bless up, bless up. I want you look the nation of Islam too, you know. May I tell you, them security, serious. And when the data, the data promote the show and get the nation of Islam, because obviously she, she really into her consciousness as African black consciousness. So she never go out there for go get the, the British police force or a British, a British um, security company. Because we did in the attack certain things, so. We want to help all, them, especially the two Jamaican Muslims them where we know from long as Jamaica, where they look like they live in England, you know. They have some serious security. They no not itch at all when they come out of security. The, 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 the security when they say like that was when we go to Gambia, Gambia that, no, Ivory Coast. We have, have some security, them call the president's men. They work for the president. And the president send them down there for come secure me. You know, Matrix. Long time you don't see you know. Because the other day when I come here, I, I cheer me to come, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, ma'am, I tell you, the, the nation of Islam, 
the nation of Islam security, them train that way there. I mean, I tell you, man, tight. Because all the women, them, and them, so not, the daughter who keep the show, you know, she not the right which part of the door there. But as a some nation of Islam woman, I'm making sure you show them your ticket. You have to show them your ticket. They're not each. And it's when we are going there, two sides. Nobody can come close unless you want them come close. <laughs> me, I tell you, man. I see where the Ivory Coast, you know. Big no, man, I see where the Ivory Coast, man. The security, the secu hey, the security. You see when we are going out of the room? The security stop me. I'm going out of the room, you know, go search every crevice and corner of the room, you know. The man lift up all the mattress off of the bed and look on and he's going to the bathroom. Lift up the lift up the 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 the, 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 the top of the the bathroom thing, lift it up. And then him say, Alright, we can't come now. <laughs> May I tell you, man. Man, them serious to them security in a certain country, man. And, 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 and so. Police are security to write it and him see him bridging over there so he run and say, what are them who have to come? I go over there. I go talk about a man who man and all of you. The man and all of you are each. No, I tell you what. I go in the craft market, man. And me, me, the man walk beside me like, you see, if a man ever like him, I come over like him, look like him, I come over like him. You know, just come say, yell me and shake your hand. You better stay over there, so. Yes. <laughs> you better stay over there, so. <laughs> that ain't easy. <laughs> yeah, but me love the nation of Islam for that. That, that, that training there with them have for security. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Security. Serious what thing. Is you know, uh, what is name? Farrakhan, you know. Farrakhan talks, say, uh, it's strange. White people are asked for a can talk about how oh, have a whole for security. And he must say, but wait. When the president of America walk with the almost security, oh, nobody not say nothing. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm a black man, no, I'm no fear of security, and them, and, and them really want to kill him. <laughs> they want, like what I say, so they want to kill me. And they asking me, as a black man, why I have so much security. Look at them president. <laughs> the I tell you, no man, but me, me, me love the move with the black, the, the nation of Islam man them, and the woman them with security in terms of security, and that was really evident. The idea. The moment give thanks to time, give thanks to the energy. Yes, Simone, me I tell you, <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Simone, Simone was with me all the while, and she leave me, you know. And she have to come back to me, you know. You know, Matrix. Eh? Simone. You see, I'm busy in the day from how much time now. I'm busy in the car. I have no time for me, you know. You still have the active No. Eh? No, I say in the day, she usually do something else. Oh, but no, I say she come back to the original time, you know. So, you love big. <laughs> you love Simone. Yes. Yellow, hey, I want to tell Vita, you know. I mean, I come on Western Boulevard a while ago and had a big traffic there, you know. It's that thing, you know, it's in front of traffic, hold me. Everybody who has sell something, who has beg something or something, find my car for come there, you know. And look while one brother, you know, Rasta. Him out of, right out of, where I'm out of Dwayne Park Road, so right, for go across the road. The car, the truck, them always block up there. So, car, everything, the look at that reach a six mile. A bridge and come to me, you know. Really. I see my look through the thing, and I see my run on the car, you know. Because, you know, when I'm on a run on your car, he might pray to the traffic jam up till him not to run too far. But it come like the traffic now nah, jar up now. So, my car moves slow and I go down and I try to run. And it's a youth, you know, it look like him, 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 a street man, street brother. Anyway, it stopped, the car stopped, the brother come to me. And I said, I'm like, I said, I'm out You see the thing where you talk about, on the radio, about the, 
the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, I don't tell you, man. I don't tell you. You're a rap brother. I don't tell you. No. I don't tell you. I want to listen to a rap brother come to me and walk away from the burger, man. Trust me, it's not where you think in there. New trends. But the bread, the liquid, no, I'm, I'm surprised. Because you know a man that comes to me and says, boy, right now, I'm out of work. I'm not going to money. They can't give me one thing. It's the first time I ever come to me and say that. And you can't see, say, it, it, it's a brother, you're looking at him, why him never know I'm not ready. But him hear about the, 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 the me hungry thing. And him say, I got to move on from me. So. Well, if you're not listening now, you have to tell him what time you have to pass. No, no, you want to know. You see, me tell him what time you pass now. A whole pa man got to stand up for you and want something else from me. He <laughs> can't afford that at all. Or that's what I'm going to pass about. Six o'clock, you know. <laughs> I want to let him have any juice. <laughs> I treat him with my CD, you know. Yeah, man, I tell him with every CD. I give me CD, and the next man, I say, well, all right, no more time, I tell the church, you know, a long time, I look at bus, you know, you can't bust me, you know. And them kind of weird, them man, they talk, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah. Me, I go remember, I mean, no vital good all I listen. Vita, you have to give me a burger tomorrow. If you can't go get this bread, you know. can't waste. If me not see him, me just eat that. Okay, here we are going now. So, the bread, you know, I must play this, you know, before me done, I'm going to play. This is the cutting edge. I'm going, we're going, you know.